Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would take you guys along with me as I decluttered my entire house. I don't think there will be too many things because I try my best not to hoard, but you never know what you can find when you start decluttering. With the change of seasons, I typically like to refresh my space and one of the ways that I get started with doing that is by doing a declutter and just getting rid of anything that is no longer serving me. So if you're feeling inspired to declutter as well, you can even declutter with me while you watch this video and just keep it on in the background. So let's get started. Okay, but before I get started, I'm gonna change out of my outfit of the day, which is just this turtleneck and some jeans. I just wanna get into something comfy. So let's do a quick change. Okay, so here I am in my comfies. I'm wearing some olive green lounge pants from a small fashion brand, and then just an old gray hoodie. Today I'm gonna start in the bathroom because I find that products can sort of pile up. So I'm gonna see if there's anything in the bathroom that needs to be decluttered. So here's what I'm getting rid of in the bathroom. Lots of contact cases, a sample skincare product, some old makeup brushes, a pencil sharpener for makeup, and a old um, menstrual cup. I have to figure out how to dispose of this or recycle, um, but yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that, and that's it. Next up, I'm gonna take a peek through the drawers and then my closet. I don't think there's anything in my closet I need to get rid of, but I'm gonna look through my drawers first. I have some pieces that I'm either going to sell, donate, or give away to people. But here are the textile things that I'm going to declutter. Next up, it's time to tackle these bookshelves. Okay, so there actually wasn't too much from the shelves and desk. Just an old photo that I'm going to get rid of, random card that I'm going to get rid of, some hemming tape that I need to return to my sister, and that's it. I haven't looked through these cabinets in a while, so I'm gonna take a look and see if there's anything that needs to be removed. But the last time I decluttered, since then I haven't really touched them, so I don't think that there will be too much in here, but you never know. It was the wrong size for the photos that I had, so I have to get rid of this. And then I have this silicone mask thing that I'm going to declutter as well. So here we have a whole bunch of pans and pots that we've had for a long time. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be decluttering them and possibly donating them if they're still in decent condition. Another kitchen item, just this like bamboo lunchbox that was actually part of a PR package, but it doesn't really close that well. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this one as well. Okay, another miscellaneous cabinet here full of water bottles and glass jars that I've saved. I'm gonna see if there's anything in here. Okay, from here, two old bottles and a takeout lid that doesn't have a matching bottom. Here's one we haven't done in a while, my coat closet and shoes. So let's see if there's anything in here that hasn't been getting much wear. So from the closet, I am only gonna be decluttering one pair of shoes and that's it. 
it's not too bad. So one area I do want to declutter is my tote bag of tote bags because you know when you get a product and every brand is trying to be sustainable now so they give you a tote bag and then it just piles up so i am just gonna go through the ones that we use the most and i'm gonna recycle the ones that aren't in use and just minimize this bag of tote bags a bit so i think my decluttering is actually done and there surprisingly wasn't that much to declutter. I hope that it still inspired you even though it wasn't like a huge massive change. Um, it's just nice to do this every once in a while and just make sure that things are not piling up in the home. And now even though I didn't declutter that many things, I feel like everything I have is what I actually use and what I actually need. I feel like I'm at a pretty good place in our home in not accumulating too much stuff that we don't actually use. So the next step after decluttering everything is to dispose, recycle, give it away, donate, and before I do that I'm just gonna pack everything up into boxes or into bags so that I can properly go and do that. Hello guys, it is the next day. I totally forgot to finish the ending of the video yesterday because little Ruben woke up and then I got occupied. But yes, I did finish packing up everything that I had decluttered. I disposed of anything that needed to go in the garbage, recycled what needed to be recycled, and then I'm gonna be dropping off donations at the thrift store whenever I have time this coming week. So that is the end of this decluttering video. I hope you enjoyed it. Someone wants to say hi. hi. That's the end of this video. I hope you were inspired to declutter your space for this new fall season. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.